to the vent. Well, they're trying to make their way on. And yes, they will. Four players down. There is going to be a player to try and hold them off. It's Danoko. Bomb's going to be planted. He took some damage, but he found Tizian in turn. So this is a decent retake opportunity, especially as Danico does more damage. He's looking for them all. And they are going to start finding them big, faltering, falling away, not getting much of anything here. And at this point, Sears is going to try and defend from the defuse, but Danico, no mercy, and Bulls will finish off the last. A defuse and a 3k for the new addition to the squad, and that's what I love to see here, Dean. Yell, he's going to explain he's gonna kill. No, doesn't get the kill just yet. He can't stay there. Oh, after the first phase, as soon as you don't get that, you gotta just back right off. Yes, Tabson will get traded, but there's Searson for one more. If he comes back up the ladder, what's he gonna do? He's actually gotten outside. He might have to get in. There's one. Not quite the second, but damage done. It's not open, so we'll have to give an audio cue to get through this as well. Below the ladder. Watching from hell. That's a good kill on the Searson. Brings it into a 2v2. This is possible. SHZ doing the work, but it's down to Tizian. Tizian knows where the last player is. Now he certainly knows. He knows where he spotted. He's out of bullets. I have to go to the sidearm. Doesn't want to take the time for the reload. Both players low, just trying to buy time. He has Tizian. He wants to get it with the pistol, but no, he cannot. Sidearm on sidearm. Danico takes it, and he's got the kit, so no concerns on the defuse. That one got so very close, Dean. Captain Levy are on the brink of an instant break if they could just win that one round. And yeah, a little bit of a limitation in the buy. It is mostly just the uh, the one MP9, and it's the nades then that they're lacking. And well, Fultz, he's lacking a head at the moment, because Sirison on the scout, he didn't give us the headshot last round, but he gives it to us now. Oh, He's a madman. He just... He ran through the gap between the Molotovs, found the spot, and then plucks the player in towards heaven. A trade kill so important here for Jello, but Tabson's already worked his way into heaven. What are you going to do about this? Harris has brought the bomb. The numbers are going to be punched in, and control is established. A fight even going on outside. Tabson maybe sitting around a bit too long, and Searson wanting more. He brings it to a 2v2. This is recoverable for MIBR. Cello is slow to do it, though. Get some pace on. They don't have the time for this, and he's lost Yell now, so he doesn't have a teammate to play off of. Good clear from Keto with control back in towards the lobby. This should now be relatively impossible. No smoke to cover off the bomb. There is a molly for big as well. Get the fight towards the He gets the first, but he doesn't have the second in the same position. Still, the kill doesn't realize, and Terra's eventually zeroes him in. A lot of responsibility is now going to be on the Dinoko as he has to lock down the but taking the mini control, now they've got it. They can wrap in towards heaven. They've got a player up on mini. Yell will catch that as Tapson tries to do the hop around. Avoid mini entirely. Press in towards the outside as well. It goes down lower. They know he's dead. They know he's the player with responsibility primarily here. Cello was in the sight though. Cello takes one, no more. And an off pick outside. That oh. should just about secure this round. Bomb's going down. There is a player in the vents. There's a player back in lobby. Sage Zeke. And uh, yeah, as soon as he drops his own gun, ends up just getting up. It's just, it was miles behind as the bomb was going down on B. Presumably outside. Yes, indeed, he's going to go for it. Maybe a little bit more aggressive this time. Yes. That's what they're doing. Never mind. They were taking the squeaky door fight and coming back up. They're coming in towards the control. So yeah, they're going to hit A. That is the read. There's two players here to see them. Let's see how the fight goes. Utility sails over. Connections being made. Zantaras winds up with both kills. He loses two teammates in turn, but hey, that's an exchange rate. They're fine with. There's still a player on site. This is Cello. He's in the smoke. They don't know. They don't know. He's going to get that kill from the knees. Zantaras tries the 360 turn, but Tizian hopping back through that PC kill will make it happen. And Tizian confirms the last. That got weird. That got. This is going to be really tough for him. The no go though. Going for a peek out go and Zantaras is found. I hit hope. My hope was misplaced. Unfortunate. It was just the time in the land for Zantaras to creep by. SHZ in the meantime had to kill up on A and push them down towards B, but Jello makes it look okay. easy with those kills towards Keo and Sirison. I was about to say it's not going too well elsewhere though as a couple of frags had been recovered, but with the trade towards Tabson, suddenly Zantar is left alone and heavily tagged up. This is easily the best position MIBR have been in in a few rounds. I, I thought for a second maybe that jump up there was actually going to work out kind of the drop down as a bit of a fake perhaps that he was still going up, but no, the double doors unfortunately were open. So it was an easy catch for Yell moving down. And there we go, MIBR, they've broken their way back in. They've got around uh, after what had been a six round win streak for big as well. And I want to go fast. 
Event Droppers does not play. Up the play it is, and this time SHZ gets the better of them. Having trouble with that fight, but this works out. SHZ dropped, and another to follow. It's Cello out. Three going to save. Yeah, what an effort. Xander, Keto, and Tabson all popping off with the another investment and hope to fight back in immediately once again. But uh, it's not looking too likely. Thurston's going to even take out Yell as he seemed to be hanging around a little bit. Was that back towards the spawn? He's peeking in from here. Dinoko getting that first kill. Good damage on Sirison as well. Who's probably going to reface with the oppo. Jason, does Dinoko wants that weapon? But no. Sirison out of there. Has no intention of giving away that big green gun. And about that balcony spam. The catwalk spam. Done for. Next. Uh, Dinoko who gets found first. Sirison opens the doors on Terra's now follows it up. And this is rough. Bomb down. This is a save. This might be a save. It's a three on five retake. They're not being around to this game. Big come in with a shutdown on the lower site. Are they going to be able to save over to weapons this time is the question. Yell would love to have this off in the next round, but it's going to be a tough one to hang on to. All right, what are they doing? Are they run boosting? They're going up a bull. Yeah. not going to be expected. It's even as busy as they need to apparently. Bolts comes true of one and, and a second. There we go. That was risky. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, he's going yeah, back into know. the molly. What a play. That was perfect. A few times, I think we had Yell going there with the Oppa points. So, uh, I guess expecting them to maybe do it here with the, the weaker weapon. Oh, oh to no go. That ball is a little bit of a shot. They maybe take a couple of players with him. They line up. Okay. And he actually serves as a distraction to allow Cello also to step up for a frag. Does eventually fall to Xanthares, yeah. but he's given his team the man advantage. This might be one of the only situations that we've consistently seen big have issues with. Is that fight outside when there's rifles at long range. Now, Dinoko gets a kill. Zonteris is going to have to pull off the clutch. The bomb is dropped. He's going to drop the Now he spots the player. Doesn't get the kill, though. Dinoko, a 3k. He'll have a, a much slower performance on this, too. So see him at least be able to give some individual level. Despite the fact that MIBR do need a lot more overall. And, well, Cello, he's also delivering up there as the top fragger. This is so, so greedy. Oh, uh, no. He just jumped. He, he even, jumped right next to him. He doesn't even know. Oh, God. Yeah, he's he the BM. Well, maybe he did, but a knife, but... <laughs> the bomb in the open. That's the main issue. Not shot by Bolts. He's going to free up the half. Six, honestly, not even bad considering how it was looking earlier on, but I would still like to see them get this one more. Uh, not a great start, though. Seriously, looks for it. On comes the hit up top, or at least the fake for it. Second vent peak comes in. Yo is there for SHZ, but he can't get away from it. The trade is decent, and now they go down the vent. Now they're going to go to group up with their AWP. Bolts is not going to be given an opportunity here from in Mustang, and there's two players. A nice molly, but that forces Tabs into the fight. The no-go is up to the task. The top player to duel for sure. He takes a second as well. He's looking for more. Tizian to silence him. But Tizian is very low indeed. Bomb will be planted. There's an HE on Bolts. Is he in position to throw it? He is. Nate comes in. That's a kill. Oh. Boom. Dusted. All on Desantara is now. D2 as Bolts creeps forward. And Shello will catch him from the deep on door. Bomb will be defused. This round is claimed. MIBR close the half with seven. When we come back, we see if they can close it out in a second. Oh, outside. But there's actually a third defender here, so this is a big rig from big. First kill goes in. We should see more Zontaras is popping heads like they're overripe grapes. There's no problems here for him. And this setup is perfect. Only one casualty taken. That's Thompson outside. Everything else is a massacre. She on site. Where does he want to go with this? They could still go up the vent. They're not committed as is yet. They still got some control outside, but Sirison's going to start to take that away. Big off. Not sure. Meanwhile, the hit comes in. They seem to be aware of his presence. Certainly, he's about to die. I'm just looking at the dots on the radar. Cello, meanwhile, dropping bodies on the side. He's cleaning them up. Bolts has been revealed. There's only one player down here. It's got Cello to do all of the work. He's lost his teammate, and he will get caught from Searson in the rattle. There's no way to escape. Anyone who can give him any assistance. Oh, Searson wants to go up above. This could work out. Ooh, does catch There's one. First. Gets dinked on his way back. And it's apparently on 22 with health. The, I'm confused now. With the health they've got. Wait, he's on 22 health? The bar's not matching it? I don't know. <laughs> <Apparently> <laughs> yeah, that was really I, I'm confusing. confused. Whatever it is, he gets a shot before he...
Come back in through many. Keto should have a field day, a feast. Spray down, and there we go. There's the first phase. Yellow is done. There's the attempt to trade. One, two, make it done. Oh. Bolts can't even get Keto before he swaps over. And Keto Alright, we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna cast. Looks like we've got this going on. Bolts going to take a kill, trying to keep his team alive here, trying to give them some sort of a hope. SHZ and Bolts are battling. And let's see what they can find. It's all onto the shoulders of SHZ, and the kill is going to come in there. Apologies for the technical difficulties, but.